Bro, if you saw me like at a strip club. Well, turn so I can't see your face. So if I just saw that and I couldn't, well, let your hair down. Take your, take, no, hold on. Let your hair down. 100%. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh? HelloFresh gets you fresh pre-measured ingredients with a mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those long grocery lines. And the trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. These are tw meals that are only take 10 to 20 minutes to make. Low prep recipes, quick breakfasts, and lunches. Perfect for your busy schedule. And with 25 plus recipes you'll be choosing from each week, there's something for everyone to enjoy. All recipes are designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. I love this. It allows me an opportunity to learn how to cook with their, their ingredients and brings my family together so that we have di dinner together. Great. And my daughters will try things they never would have tried before. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Cave12 and use the offer code Cave12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Cave12 and use the code Cave12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. This episode of Two Bears is brought to you by Mud Water. It's a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs with one-seventh the caffeine as a cup of coffee. You get energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Cacao and chai for mood, a microdose of caffeine, lion's mane for alertness, chaga and reishi to support your immune system, turmeric. I love yeah. turmeric. That's probably my favorite thing yeah. ever. And a microdose of caffeine, mm -hmm. dude, that is what I need sometimes. I don't and need the, all... the turmeric, I didn't realize, helps with your soreness. I didn't oh, know that that's dude, yeah, an actual... that's what, yeah, I, and you put it in your coffee, it actually tastes good. Mud is 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, Whole30, and kosher. Visit <laughs> mudwater.com slash bears. That's M-U-D-W-T-R dot com slash bears to support the show and use bears, the word bears, B-E-A-R-S, at checkout for $5 off. You know, I love my dogs, right? Yeah, I love your, I love dogs too. You don't love mine though. No, I love my dog. Okay, well, I don't like your dog. Why don't you like my dog? Uh, well, because you don't like mine, man. I asked you, asked you first. No, I you didn't like say it. I don't know your fucking dog. So how oh, can yeah, I like your dog? Met, you've never met them. No. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I don't know them. All right. Okay, so There's you like nice your dog. Way to talk to people. Really? Hey, fuck What you. did you say on the way here? I, I oh, called I you just around. to get an That's what I'm telling the story. I'm getting, Go ahead and I'm tell getting the story there. I'm getting there. So, um, you know, first of all, I have one car in the house. Yeah, I know. And you're and you're a multi-millionaire, and you have one car. Just buy another car. That's your problem. I don't know. Buy another car. I'm not milking no. Yeah, you are, dude. What did you say? Guys, in the studio, what did he say? Yeah, because you were like, you were like, uh, I said you're running late. Oh, I said you're running let's late. Get, let's get there and then we'll get there. Okay, they you're right. Explain. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's play. All right. So, um, so, um, you know, I like to give my dogs treats. Yeah, everyone gives their dogs treats. I know. Right? Yeah, of so course. sometimes I give them like meat sticks. Yeah, but you gave it to a dog that doesn't have any teeth. That's right. Okay. <laughs> He I can't know. chew through the meat stick. He has teeth. What, what's the matter? Nothing. Is this what happened? This is, you know what? This is the same fucking shit that Christian Bale, you remember Christian Bale snapped on That's that? That's why he loses it. Hey, you man. keep walking yeah. in the middle we're of working. our cast. We're working. Get him out of uh, here. <laughs> yeah. Get him out of here. You know what? He, he, so anyway, the, go ahead. the meat sticks that I give him are like, they're pretty, they're not chewy. No, they're, they're like they're, shards of glass. <laughs> Right, so why are you giving him such big meat? Because sticks? my other two dogs have teeth, so I give him, you know, eat and they crunch on it. You know, they like it. Why, why doesn't the dog have teeth? It's old. It's like Eddie Pepitone. <laughs> I think I, I think my, my dog is older than Eddie Pepitone. <laughs> so so my yeah. other dog, my old one, Remy, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, he's trying to the the beef chart. He can't, so he just swallows it whole. Whole. And, and as soon as Kalila got home, she walked up the stairs, and Remy's going. <laughs> Like choking, that, dying, choking, bro. Do you give a dog a Heimlich maneuver? No, Can I was because I, I, I want a new puppy. Oh, you let him die. <laughs> <laughs> I, want a new I want a new puppy. Yeah, let him die. No, but I love. How him. old? How many years? Thirteen, right? I'm probably 30, 40 years. Forty years yeah, old. Yeah, right. So anyway, um, it's dying. It, I feel like, and I feel like, oh my god, like I'm trembling. Yeah. 
right? Yeah, you're getting scared that you're going to lose your dog right and there. And it swallows, and then it does like, makes this noise. Like there's, it's bleeding internally. Right. Right. Meanwhile, right, I have to leave. Well, you got to come here. To come to this mini mall in fucking Nevada. <laughs> All right. And this is what this, you know, you know, um, what's this two, called two bears and two bears one cave, in, uh, right? inside of one cave is yeah. uh, just whitewash, you white know, people, corporate, white trash, comedy, white trash. And that's comedy. why it's in a fucking facility like yeah. this, by the way. Welcome back to two bears, one cave. <laughs> Hey man! So anyway, hey um, man, we're all we're touring the country a, this year. I'm gonna take a shit on this fucking table. I dare you. I told you on the phone last I really night. Do want last to. night we made I a phone call. I want to try. Last night we had a phone call and Bob said he could poop on the table yeah, if he. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. drink, chug that Red Bull and see if it'll come out. That's a whole uh, big hurly finish, cup let of let Red Bull. The story. So, Please um, finish the story. And then Remy just kind of goes. Remy kind of goes, oh, oh, and just kind of lays on his stomach like yes. this. Kal- now, Kalila, my girlfriend, panicking, screaming at me. Of course. You're, you're, a, you're a piece of shit. Yes. You're dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, how can I have children with you? Oh, those, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those type of conversations. Yeah, right? real talk. Real and talk. she's going to break up with me. That's what black people call real talk. Real talk. You dumb. I'm not trying to have <laughs> kids with you right now. Hey, and dude. I'm disappointed in you, boy. Okay. Real talk. Real good. Real talk. That's a, what a Delroy Lindo. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? That's a good one. Real talk. So, so anyway, um, do you like Delroy Lindo? Love. He's a great actor. Yeah. So, so anywho, so anywho. <laughs> So anywho, so anywho, so the um, so Remy's just laying on his stomach like this, dying, dying, yeah, dying. And I'm just kind of on the couch, like, uh, I, when do you say when your dog <laughs> is leaving? I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? I gotta go. It's, it's, yeah, you can. Can you take care of this? That's what I would we say. We don't have a car. Because she's Jules, like, because Jules is yeah. Late. So she's like, she's yeah. like, my, my girlfriend's like, you can't go now. We have to take the dog to the vet. Uber. No, no, no. She's not doing. You know how? No, you should have Ubered. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think of that. You could have Ubered. I could have Ubered. By the way, can you look that up if you can give the dog a Heimlich maneuver? Is that a thing that people do? By the way, he said, uh, look Tom, at how quick they are. Tom, uh, our guys aren't that quick. Our guys aren't. Our guys, uh, they don't they know how would, to do they it. They wouldn't even do that. Our computer falls asleep. Yeah, 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 they yeah, yeah, fall yeah. asleep. They don't, they wow, don't know how to get them out. This is professional shit right Did here. Did you mean, can you give a dog a Heimlich maneuver? Yeah. If your dog is. Is is standing? Put your arms around him. Look so what he's hand- doing! Just opening the mouth. Yeah. Well, you someone has to open it. Then make a fist with your hands and firmly swift push up towards, uh, uh, what in a thrusting motion, much like you perform on a human. So you do. But, you, but, 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 but my dog's my dog is this big. Yeah. So you so just the fucking mouth is so, this big. So put one knuck, just one knuck. Oh, a knuck. Knuck, just one knuck underneath. And you press the. Uh, 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 it would have killed it. They do. I have heard that you put if you put a finger in their butt, you put a finger in their butt to make them not if they're if a dog is biting you. Do you know that? Oh, 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 you do, what, what, what's that, the shocker? The shocker, what, the you shocker. do the shocker you to the dog. shocker it. If it bites you, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll let go. Hey, do you tongue kiss your dogs? No. <laughs> I, I do. I know you do. I've tr- no, no, but I, I like get, like, like. You get in. Sometimes yeah, in the morning, in. sometimes in the morning when she comes over on yeah. my side to snuggle, yeah. will I rest her butt yeah. on my crotch? Yeah. Yeah. You will. Yeah, I'll okay. rub it around I, I, a little gonna, bit. I'll might, rub it around a little bit. You might have bit. to cut this out, but yeah, I'm gonna no, admit we'll leave some, it in. I'm gonna admit something. I'm gonna admit something right now. Go ahead. I do. Go ahead. Right, that um, my girlfriend said, "Don't ever tell anyone you do it." Let's but share. I'm in such a shitty mood. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Fuck my career. Fuck it, dude. Fuck your career. So what I do is sometimes I have, <laughs> I have a dog. I have a dog named Bojo as Bobby Junior. Yeah, yeah. Right, and Bojo, um, I've we've had him since he was a kitten, mm-hmm. and he doesn't know who I am. Right now. You're right. Right. So, I'll, you know, he's one of those guys. Hi, Bojo. And he just. He has no yeah, idea he who you love, are. Right. Yeah. But what he does love and the only time I can get his attention is if I um, I don't lick my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to, but I don't. What I do is <laughs> when I'm running, his, rubbing his belly. Right. I kind of rub his penis a little bit with like, like, like it's a clit. <laughs> I'm not no. gonna be on camera while you tell bestiality. No, it's not bestiality. Yes, it's not, it is. That's no, because I'm not, I have no sexual. I have no sexual thoughts about it. Okay, well then you guys need to make it's it. It's like more. It's more medical. Okay, you guys need to cut that so he's just in the frame and I'm not in the frame. All right. Because if that gets pulled out of context, then I'm gonna. I'm I know, just sitting there smiling. It's not bestiality because I have no sexual feelings about it. You can't just rub a dog's penis. It's not like I f- like do that. I spit on it. And, you know what I mean? And you like that? I don't you, say that. But you've thought about it because you just said that right now. I did. I did before. I should have <laughs> said that before. But um, anyway. Um, Wait, why do you even? So when you rub the belly, why do you even go near it? He doesn't do anything. It? He doesn't do anything. He'll just like, right? Yeah, but why do you go but down? I'll tell you why. When I do it, he'll yeah. go like this. <laughs> he'll make that noise. Because <laughs> he likes it. He, he loves it. Right? 
And I just go, and I don't go, yeah, you like that? You know what I mean? Like, like, no. You've never said that? No, no, no. Like, oh, hi, Bojo, you're cute. You know, that kind That's of thing. That's close. That's almost the same thing. That's not, no, it's not, man. Hi, Bojo. No, Did yeah. you like Is that, that wrong? Is that, is that against the law? I don't know. Uh, let, ask the fans. Is that wrong? Go ahead and comment below if rubbing your dog's belly and then maneuvering your way down to its genitalia is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they say. All right, let, let me finish the story about the shards, the beef shards. Yeah, yeah. So you gave your toothless so dog beef, beef shards, shards. Right now we're sitting there. We don't have a car, and you know the dog could be dying, right? Yeah. And then you know, you know, Claude's yelling at me, and he's like, you know, because she thinks that I'm um, that I'm mentally slow. Yeah. Yeah. She you... really legitimately thinks that. I mean, we and she what? We we wanted to take an autism test with you, and you wouldn't take it. We want to take an autism test. With we wanted to take one, and Kalila said she didn't want you to do it because of fear of what the results might be. Do you want to take one? Yeah, I, you, we took a gay test. I know. And what were you? Thirty-five. Forty-two percent gay. Thirty-five percent. Forty. Forty-five percent gay. Thirty-five. Thirty-five percent. I was thirty-five percent bisexual. Yeah. Oh, well, that's right. You're right. But it's I'm bisexual. not bisexual. I'm not bisexual though. Uh, right. Right. You're you're sixty. Oh, no, 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 you're sixty-seven yeah. percent not. No, because the thing is, is but that you I'm are liberal. Some. Does that make me bisexual? Yeah, I believe in gay marriage. You vote for you vote for Joe Biden. Yeah, bisexual. <laughs> oh, well, that's bisexual. I'm bisexual then. Anyway, let's go back to the shard. <laughs> yeah, go back to so, the shard. Um, he's dying, right? And now she's like, she's talking to me in a certain way. And when she talks to me like that, it's just like I. Um, she's being condescending. She, she just really kind of looks at me like you know, like she, I, I could see things going through her head. And the one thing that goes through her head, I think, is like, I, I just, I, I gotta break up with them. Break up with her? No, she wants to break up with me. Oh, she's thought yes, yeah, for yeah, sure. That's that's a thought, right? Yeah. No, all the time. No, no, but she's told me that's a thought. It is. She's just said before. There's moments in her life where she thinks, "What would it be like without you?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, and I, I say it would be sad. You ever feel that about your wife? <sighs> yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, but I get but it. The, you, the, but the good outweighs, outweighs the, the bad. bad. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Yeah, because you know what I always go down to is like, all right, you know. Fresh pee. Fresh pee? Yeah, you know what fresh pee is, right? You, strange pee is what we call it. <laughs> Nobody calls it fresh pee. Fresh pee? Sounds like you just... <laughs> yeah, sounds like yeah, yeah, a yeah. urination. To, oh, fresh pee. Yeah, yeah. No, strange pee is what you're talking What's about. What's strange pee? It's the, same, it's the same pee from fresh pee. Oh, right. Right. What Stra do you think my pee is, though? What's fresh pee? Y yeah, what do you think my pee is? It's posasso. Yes, exactly. Pothasso. Yeah, yeah, Pothasso. Yeah, so you're, you're saying strange. So I, I said it wrong. Strange, new pee. Strange pee. New, new pee. New is better. New pee. New yeah. pee. Yeah. Fresh implies, you know what I mean? You know. Don't, don't, don't go there. I'm not. Just cut yourself off at that pass. <laughs> that bridge no, is closed. Ah, uh, let's not go there. Okay. Yeah. Take, uh, put in reverse. Yeah. And then go back to the other bridge. Somebody in their mid-20s could be fresh. New pee. New. New pee. And strange. <laughs> <laughs> but not fresh. All right. So All what right. is it? Anyway. Yeah. So the, I always think that, you know. Hold on one second. There's a telemarketer calling me right now. Yeah, hello. 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 Pussy. Yeah, I had a politician call me early on the in the car. Who called you? It was um a senator. What's it, the guy that's um Rand Paul? No, not Rand Paul. Rand Paul called you? No, not Rand Paul. It was um no. Just let me get it. Rand Paul called Bobby Lee because he's paid, given he's, him money before. Uh, uh, name me uh, a leader in the Democratic Party, not Chuck Schumer, but the other guy. Uh, Epstein. Epstein, the guy who died in jail. No, 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 no. In jail. Who's in the Congress right now? That's a leader. Uh, I don't know. Google that. Who's who's in Congress? That's a leader. Well, that's such a vague term. No, he's big. He's big. He's Chuck like Schumer. No, I just said that Chuck Sue Schumer. Chuck the other guy. Uh, who's the other guy? Uh, Fauci. 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 No, the, he's a fucking. No, he's not a political. He's a lead Democrat. Medical. Oh, there, Mike Schumel. Mike Schul. Not Mike Schul, dude. It's Bernie. Not, that's not. Ber I know Bernie. Pete Buttigieg. Forget it then. What no? What branch of government is he in for real? A he's Congress? a senator. Oh, he's a senator. Yeah, he's like the president. You know what I mean? He's like the, the leader. He's a, like the leader of. <sighs> Type in this directly. He's a Democratic leader, leader. that's like the, the president. That's in the center. Oh, he's Senate. in the Senate. Yeah, Democratic leader that's in the Senate. Senate. He's a Democratic leader that's in the Senate. Exactly. And then what else, Bobby? See that's it. Can... That's it. Put it in there. And then write that's it. Put it in there. Sentiment, Senate Democrat. Go to the leader. photos. Go to Photo, images. Go to photos. I'll go, that's the guy. That's the way. He'll, ever, he'll be able to pick via photos. No. No. So that's Chuck Schumer, the first no, one. I know who they are. Go down. Go down. Biden. And I know Biden. I voted for him. Go down. Go down. Go down. Donnie T. Go down. Go down. Go down. Oh, how about that? Mitch McConnell. Is I already know. I see he's Republican. Go down. He is? Oh, my God. It's not Schumer. No. Yeah. 
OK, uh, slowly scroll down. Hold on. I Mitt, can't see. So Mitt, I got to go. Mitt forward. Romney. No, no, no. I'll tell you who it is. Sit down. I already know. I'm just going to go. Keep going. Roy, is it Royce West, the black guy? Is it him? No. John Corrin. Uh, uh, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. This is tough. No, it's not, dude. It's like, I don't know why this is the guy's like one of the guys. But what, when you say one of the guys, which, what are the guys? He's the leader, one of the leaders. What, what does a guys? leader mean? What does a leader like, mean? It's like, this, it's like if I see the Rolling Stones, what two guys you come up with? Uh, Freddie Mercury no, and... No, no, Mick Jagger. You yeah. have fucking... Uh, the guy who smokes a lot with the fucking uh, funk, fucked up fingers. Fucked up face. Richard... 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 Richard, 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 Richard Gear. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Richie Valen. Really, no, you Valen? Know, you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly now. what you're talking about. I, I just can't find... Well, who's the Senate... Who's the... Uh, um, do most famous... Yeah, most famous current Democratic senators. There you go. And who are they? List of current United States senators. Okay, I'm going to... No, let he, he's going to Google He doesn't it. know what he's doing. This is what I like about it. That's part of the fun, uh, oh. is that he doesn't know what he's doing. Isn't that part of All the All right, fun? here we go. go okay, on. Kamala Harris. Google it too! Patrick oh, Leahy. No, that's, that's, the president. that's Patrick Leahy. Is that who it was? Go down. Go down. Go down. Chuck Schumer, Dick Durbin... No. Patty Murray, no. Debbie Stabenow, no. Mark Warner, no. Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, Bernie Sanders, Joe Manchin, Cory Booker, Tammy Baldwin, Gary Peters, Catherine Cortez Masto, Jeff Merkley, or Brian Schatz. Minority. Minority, Mitch. No, no, that's those are repubs, dude. So we just named off all the Dems. So nobody called me. <laughs> nobody important called me. I, nobody I know called? who he is. He's just not on it. Okay, well, you like make fool. it. Can you just make it up? Let's say Cory Booker called. So it, wasn't Booker, it wasn't him, but anyway. We can make them cut it so I'd go like this. Can we go back to the, Cory uh, Booker called the you. dog story? We didn't finish it? No, we All didn't. All right, let's no, do no, it. No. Look, there's Cory Booker. He called you. It wasn't Cory Booker, man. Okay, man, then finish the dog story. So anyway, so I'm now late. Like, I called you and I go... Um, you politely called. I go, dude, you know, my, I, told, I explained you the situation. What did I say? No I big said, deal, babe. I bud. said, no big deal. Is and, and, it, it was and I said, is the dog it okay? Was it was surprising to me because I was just like... Wow, Andrew's really being like not Andrew in, yeah. a, in a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. But then you pulled an Andrew. No, I didn't. Let me let, finish my story. No, no, let me tell my side of the story. No, but I'm not done with mine. Okay. All right. In a testimonial thing in court, everyone has their chance. You think they would let you in court? They would let me testify. They go, sir, you have to wear adult clothes to court. You can't dress like a child right. and take you off your what, beanie. It's so funny. And grow up. Because we're in two, you, right now, because maybe there's one. a different audience, right? You're yeah. being extra mean. And they don't and know. And you're trying to showcase. I know, they don't know. And stop showcasing. I'm not showcasing. Yeah, you are. So don't. I, finish your story. I will finish it, but don't, don't point do at me again. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal, right? <laughs> so, you know, I thought, oh, Andrew's being cool and shit, right? So then I get in my car. I'm in traffic. I'm stressed out. But you know, I go. You know, it just I'm I'm glad Andrew's not calling because, you know, um, that's what he would normally do. Yeah. And to freak me out, but he's not doing it because he's no. I, I, and then you fucking called. Why did I call? Let, let, now here's my side of the story. And when I called, it wouldn't answer three times. You answered, and we couldn't hear you. Nadav is proof. Nadav, correct? Yep. Yes. It it did it, it, it. So all I was calling to say was, hey, can we get just a little ETA from you? Why? Because, You're here because they need to know. I don't need to know. <laughs> I, know, I don't care. But you, I'm your. I'm but the lifeline I, I, I to you. Understand. They but need you're me. You're here because, because you're not going anywhere. You know I'm on the way. Just let me finish. These two guys, they pay these guys to be this thing, right? So listen, and I'm the I'm the lifeline to you. They can't call you. They'll get hit. These guys hit them. They hit them, and so they'll hit these guys if they bother you. So I say, let me just check and see how far he is far out, so they get a good estimate of time of how far out you are, right? Yeah. So I called and I said. Hey, Bob, but, you go, he, but, you go, what? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah. And, and I said, all okay, I need to know is what? Give me a time. Let me, just say, let me just say my last point. Right now. Go ahead. All right. My closing statement. Yeah. Okay. Is that these two, I, I don't, I've seen them before because I've done the other things here. What? I did the, the other doctor show, one, the Dr. Drew here. Dr. Drew and, and I've done and the, the mommy mom. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, and I, did, I did all that. Pants. Right. And pants, I know them pants. and I'm very familiar with them. Right. But I know they also are, you know, comedy, com comic friendly. Comic friends. Because they're in the business, right? right? So we're like, they're not like fans or anything. They are they work amongst us. They're peers. And they understand how it all works. Correct. And some people get late. Correct. They weren't going to leave. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Nadav told me we've never had a guest be late to the studio except for Robert Lee. He said, you're the only one that's ever been that's late to true. a YMH. That, that's, in, that's insane. Nadav, has anybody else been late to the studio like Robert E. Lee has? No. Nope. You're a nope. liar. No, he's not. I don't know you, Nadav. 
<laughs> We've met like four times. You've met him like six times. I know, and that's why I said his name. You said you said N Navav. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> What's I, his name? I actually want you Navad to guess his, What's his name. I want you to guess Navid. his name. Navid? Yeah. Navai. Navai. <laughs> yeah, Navad. Nevada. Yeah. No, not Nevada. 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 Yeah. You're close enough. What is it? Nadav. 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 Ridiculous. Why? I've never heard of that. Fucking ridiculous. You know where he's never from. Never heard of a Nadav. What's his last name? Be careful. Would you? He's Jewish. Be careful. Okay. You I've have heard no of idea it. who his uncles are. I've, I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nadav, what's your last name? Itzkowitz. Mitzkowitz. So Jewish. Holy shit. The Jew most Jewish thing ever. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Viore. Viore is bringing a new perspective to performance apparel. Perfect if you are sick and tired of dressing in traditional old workout gear. It's so comfortable. And too. then living your life. Yeah. Here's the deal. I like to throw on workout clothes in the morning. Yeah. I like to work out. I like to then do a podcast, go in, have some lunch, run over, see Leanne at the new house, new podcast studio, come yeah. back, and then do another workout with Viore's core prompt. The core pants, I can do all of that. Their, com their clothing is so comfortable. And like I said, I can work out in it. My wife got the women's performance joggers, the softest joggers you'll ever own, and our girls fight over them. They also have the daily leggings. No, no mistake in the name. You will wear them daily. They're high-waisted, so Isla loves them. And they've upgraded to a no-slip fit. Thank God. I have the core shorts and the ponto shorts. Ponto shorts are perfect for literally lounging around the home. Uh, and and I, I've actually slept in them. They're that comfortable. So good. Viore is an investment in your happiness. Our listeners, they're offering you 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at vioreclothing.com slash bears. That's V-U-O-R-I clothing.com slash bears. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but you'll enjoy free shipping on any U.S. order over $75 and free returns. Go to vioreclothing.com slash bears and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. This episode of Two Bears is also brought to you by Tushy. Listen, you know, you look at me, you know, this guy knows how to take a dump. And <laughs> does he know how to clean up after I'll tell you, it's been a lifelong challenge, a mess, a disaster. And thankfully, thankfully, Tushy comes along. The brand new Hello Tushy 3.0 modern bidet attachment is here to level the playing field. The Hello Tushy 3.0 doesn't just cleanse your butt with a pre precise stream of water. It cleans itself. And listen, this is a game changer, man. You end up saving so much water. It reduces your toilet paper by 80%. And there's nothing like dropping a big load in the toilet and then having a nice spray of water Ooh. right into your hole. Ever since you introduced it to me, I've been hands-free. Better for the environment. Ugh, I, I literally, I pat dry. I pat yeah, dry, but it's dry. clean water. On my asshole, pat dry, walk off. I'm a huge, huge fan. Go to hellotushy.com slash bears. Get 10% off your order and free shipping. I mean, I, oh my yeah, God, oh yeah. my God. Warner Brothers is calling. Hello. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'll tell them. Yeah, you're never going to work with them ever again. Mm, that's funny. Whew. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I have a deal with them, but it's funny. Tom just called me. Let's call Tom real quick. Let's just check in with these guys. I hope he doesn't complain. Yeah. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. This is a shit show. <laughs> it's so rude. What? It's so rude. What's the problem? Everything's a problem. The fucking the chairs. Yeah. Goddamn Give me the fucking phone. Hold on. Put it, the the, put, right. the, put it up to the put it up to the mic. You know, I come in here, dude. I come in here, dude. Right, <laughs> and I Speak fucking English. speak English. I, oh, that's very funny. I come in here, right, and I say hi to the 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 the, 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 the larger guy that works here. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that the guy the rotund, the circle, right. Uh -huh. And then I come in here, I say hey, Nevada, right, right, yeah. to the guy, other yeah. guy, the Jew, mm -hmm. right. So nice, even though I was twenty minutes late. So nice, thirty, right, thirty minutes late, right. What are you doing over there? That woman that in there, her name is Jules. She's she's my daughter, pr pretty much. They're trying to steal her food. They want to take away food That's out of crazy. our family's mouth. Hey, I hey, guess what? What? Bert took one of her uncrustables. Oh, oh my god! Shit. Let me talk to Jules. This is okay. war, dude. Yeah. That's like the only. That's the only. Shh. It's so. It's. Mm. Hey, How are they? They're really kind. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Run, run, get out of there. Run. All right, they're Bye. fucking, dude, they're not Bye, kind. Bobby. Do you really like them, really? 
everything is good. <laughs> oh my god! Do they have a gun to your head? Yeah, she's fucking they're, tied they're, up. They're, they're tied up. She's tied up. Do they have you tied up? Okay, bye, Tito Bobby. <gasps> oh, oh. Hey, uh, hey, she's dead. Tito Bobby. Yeah. Hey, I gotta tell you something. What? <laughs> That's our thing. We do that to people. It's dumb. We hang up on people. All it's the time. hacky and dumb. We did it last week. Right. It's like comedy one on one right there. Yeah, so they're hacky and dumb. Yeah, Should it's we... like when you're on stage and you go, hey, don't talk while I'm doing my set. I don't go I don't to go McDonald's to and, and knock, knock the dick, the dick, out dick out your mouth. in your ass. Yeah, put the dick back in your yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that. I don't go to McDonald's and put the dick in your butt. Yeah. Yeah. There was a guy named, I heard tell you about, about Peter Chen. No. Uh, so there was this guy named Peter Chen, yeah. right, who was, uh, he was like the first Asian comic at the comedy store, like one of the first. Bring up Peter Chen. All right, you're going to love him. Comic. Comic. Is that him? That's him right there. So he was one of the first. He was one of the first. Right, comics right. The so when I door. came here, he came up to me and goes, "Would he crush?" By the way, no, he no, he doesn't. Oh. He, he can't understand it. He has a very thick accent. Okay. But when I first came to the store, he goes, "Come here, let me talk to you." <laughs> and I go, "All right." He goes, "I get Asia, come here." Oh, he didn't want you. Or I go, oh, "Whoa, what's up?" He goes, "I don't want to pay regular here. You're not." I go, "I am a paid regular." Holy fuck! They make a pay regular, <laughs> right? That kind of guy. <laughs> and I saw him on stage. And what I loved about him, I respected him after this. He makes up his own comebacks toward hecklers. What do you mean? Like he makes it up and they don't make any sense. But because they're so ridiculous, they're funny. Give so me one time some guy, hell got on me, goes, shut the fuck up, buddy. Because if you don't, I'm going to put you on a rocket ship and ship you to the moon. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. You're going to go to the moon. <laughs> I know. Okay. But it would, it would, and it would die. Like yeah. no one would let, right? But the comics in the back would be laughing because it. it was so dumb. So would you keep, anyway. would, would you guys rag him on? Would you ever yell from the back of the room just to get him more mad? You guys didn't, never did that? Did you ever fuck with him? No, because he was one of those like, you know. Like could kill people type of shit? He's a snapper head. He seems you know like a I mean? snapper. I mean, look at his photo. Bring up his photo again, Peter Chen. He does look a little bit dangerous. Like that, yeah, there's yeah. something about that photo. You know, that was back in the day when like all you had to have was an accent on stage. And you were, and, and you get a deal. You're in, you're yeah, in. You yeah. get a deal. Yeah, but he probably uh, went to Montreal his first year. You know what? But uh, you, you, he was a, uh, you know, he did it. Can we play one of his clips? Go to his videos. Let's hear what he did. Let's hear some of him. him. Let's see what he's doing right now. His stand up? Funny POV from Asian comedian Peter Chen. This is yeah, from 2015. From Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and I need to put your headphones on. Uh, I, I'll hear it through Bobby's. No, wear your headphones! God. I'm, I'm telling you, they didn't fucking hear me. Let's see what they've got going on over here. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. And you are citizens for many years. And the longer you become a citizen of any country, I try to look like the people of the country. Yeah. That's why I'm looking more and more like Mexican. Is that not your joke? I don't write that joke. Fuck you, I, but don't I, be insulted. I feel like that's your joke. That's not my joke, dude. I look more Mexican. I, say, I look more Mexican. I don't see. Look, that's your joke. That is my joke. Oh my god, that's my opener. <laughs> that's my opener. I like Peter Chen. <laughs> no, I like Peter Chen. But that's. Well, I, I don't. I didn't want to make fun of him. I just wanted to. see I understand, what he does. but but that was pretty much the what level he was doing of then. comedy. Yeah, and that was that, yeah. twenty years. This ago. is now. Yeah, that was twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah, that's re pretty recent. But um, do you think? By the way, I'm being serious when I say this. Yeah. You know, what's you, the what, what's the number about? Huh. Oh, this, hide the number. Hide the number. Yeah, but what is it about? That's when Nadav has to pray. You know, he has to stop. <laughs> I know. Every so often. He do has they to put pray. the carpet down and do the whole thing? Yeah, he's got to pray. All right, so is that how much we've been doing it? Yeah, yes. they put that up there. Yeah, please take it off hide because it. now in my head hide I'm now. like, I don't know if we can do the time. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? That's that's the, that's dog Heimlich stuff we were learning oh, about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know that he does pray in the middle of their show? He makes them stop sometimes so he can pray to Mecca. Do you know that? I don't think it does. Yes, he does. Nadav, do you, do you stop and pray? Sometimes. See? Oh, so you're really religious? Uh, I dabble. Like I'm, uh, like on the weekends, I go on Friday. Right. I met Saturday. this guy. What did I run into you? I ran into you at the airport. Where were you going? Uh, I was going to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Told you. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, but he's Jewish. He I'm just saying, going to Jerusalem doesn't mean that you're like d devout Jew. I've been there. Why oh. did you go? They just said you want to go. Jerusalem invited you. Yeah, I know, I'm being real. They rang you up and said, "Can no, you?" No, I, I got to call. Did you go on birthright? No, I no. A couple of uh, years ago, I get a call saying, "Hey, they have this program where they they want to they send groups of like actors and stuff to Jerusalem for free, non-Jewish actors." Yeah, and you have to just tweet about it. So this time they they go, "We we want to do minority comedians." Right. So it was right. You, so they brought who me, George Lopez, Steve Byrne, that type. Right. Continue. Who else was on it? Jamie Chung, which is an actress. She was yeah, there. Yeah. Her her um husband Brian Greenberg is an actor. I know who he is. He went and um nice people. Friends. Brian's Jewish. 
Yeah, he's Jewish. But yeah, he is Jewish. And we went out there and um, the only problem was they made you every day tweet pro Israeli pro, things, right? Like, uh, you know, I mean? Jews are the best. Yeah, yay, Jewish people. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Palestinians are the beast, or whatever. <laughs> you had to tweet that? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> wild. <laughs> no, but like, you know, and you you got so much hate from what the you, other side. Do you have a lot of Palestinian followers? No, but just people are like, I can't believe that you're out there, you know, with this propaganda machine and all that kind of stuff, right? Right, and I, yeah, that sound, it and, does uh, sound that way. Yeah, it sounds, and, it sounds like you were you're in some kind of trapped be, cult. I got kicked out because I almost got kicked out because one time, oh, there's two funny things happened. Um, I, I almost destroyed my friendship with Steve Byrne. Why? Because they have this. We so there's like a nine mile lo- line to see the slab where Jesus Christ died, where is, his body is. Is is that right? Yeah, they have it. What do you mean the slab? What like it's like what you know when they cut off um, Braveheart's nutsack, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. So look at the Jesus. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Golgotha. Golgotha. Yeah. So that's it right there. That's where you went to the slab. Yeah, the slab. So we're at the Golgotha, right? Okay, you went to the Golgotha right there. Right, and I go J- Jerusalem. There. And I, and I, I never laughed harder. I, I literally almost died from laughter. So I'm like, we get to the thing. I'm like, that's it, right? And I go, where's Steve? Because I was Steve Byrne, right? Uh-huh. And I look on the ground, <laughs> and Steve is holding onto this fucking thing. <laughs> You're <laughs> crying. I'm like, Stop bubbles and trembling, and I go. Ah! <laughs> I laughed so hard. So oh mean. my god, it was great. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. Because he believed, dude. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not real. Because he's half Catholic. It's not real. And half whatever else. So then here's another thing. Look at these mics. So I almost a real, real top notch operation they've got running here. Flip it. Break it up this way. Crack it up this way. Crack the arm up. No, 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 no. Just make the elbow go up. This way. No, 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 no. Yeah. Look at how mine is. Look at how mine is, Bob. Look at how mine is. Flip the mic. Up. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now towards you. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Like, like this. Good boy. You want a Red Bull? No, I have some in here already. Good boy. Don't talk to me like that. Good boy, Bobby. I'd never used this before. I know. I, well, I, it was clearly, confusing. I think everyone just saw that. So, um, so he was praying to the to the gal- to the galab. He was he was. So then that's the, the first thing, and then I was get kicked out because this is not that so funny, and a lot of Christians will be mad about it. But I didn't know. Say it. So they're like taking us to these spots, right? And this is when I smoked heavily, mm. like I smoked a pack a day. Yeah. So we go into this room, right? And it's there's no windows, right? It's like, you know how like there's no door, like it's just kind of like an old place, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Dude. So I just kind of light a cigarette. Inside of uh, like a like a historical like yeah, a... I didn't know what it was. Right. I, just, I just light a cigarette and I'm kind of leaning against the wall. <laughs> Ash it, all right. Like, uh, excuse me, this is where the Last Supper was. You smoked in the last in the room in the yeah, last. Yeah, and supper. I, I threw it down. I, I, I took you put, fucking stepped on uh, yeah, the cigarette put it on, on the Last on Supper. I go, my bad. And they're like, don't do that. I go, fuck. And I, I grabbed it. <laughs> and so I, they were really mad about that. Can you Google Asian man smokes in Last Supper room? That's it. That's where you went, huh? Wow, that's beautiful. Right there, that's it. Right there, the great. Uh, right there, right there. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that. That. Yeah, that one. No windows. Yeah, yeah. You just lit up a fucking squeege in there. No, there are windows on the other side. That. You just thought it was chill to light up in there. Look at it. What? Why? It looks what? like an alleyway. <laughs> like if you walked into any place that you would fucking like, you know what I mean? I mean, fuck do, prostitutes I'm, and I'm, smoke. Do I mean, crap. it does. It does. Yeah, look like yeah, a shady spot. yeah. And so they should open up with, hey, this is where the last, because they try to save it. They wanted to bring us in uh, and go, guess where we are? Ooh, where? And we're like, where? You know what I mean? So if they would have opened with, we're going into the place where they had, I would not have fucking done anything. Right. Dude, don't you think somebody smoked in that group? Oh, I'm sure. He I'm had sure 12 some... disciples, 13 stuff. Don't you? Yeah. Somebody had to light up after a meal. Somebody had some fresh Wasn't pee. Wasn't there one guy fresh, fresh pee, pee in there? In there? <laughs> two, hey, click on, the, click, click, click on the painting of the Last Supper there. Uh, two pictures over. Yeah, that looks nothing like the room that we I mean, see. Because that was thousands of years ago. What do you mean? They didn't change. They didn't fucking update it. Didn't get a facelift. That's the same spot that you see. I know. I don't know. So they didn't. They just uh, that painting. Well, that's was, what another thing is. Is like, how do you know? Yeah, they could. Have and then this shit. is best guess. Right. Someone just said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, this is where. That's like even you, the other thing. The way that way they laid Jesus. Out, they go. It's best guess situation. You know what I mean? So we don't even know the. I don't trust that. I don't at trust all. it either. That's like when you rent. That's an why apartment. it makes what Steve Burns did was more ridiculous. Yeah, because like it's he, nothing. He bought it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he bought it. 
That's like when you rent an apartment in LA and they try to, uh, they're like, oh, you know, Sean Hayes used to live here. You're like, what? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. You could just be lying to me. Also, I don't care. What is it? He was there. What does it matter that that was a thing? I don't, oh, um, I, I don't understand going back to places that they're not sure of if that was the spot. Yeah, they or don't in, know. in my building, I used to live on Beachwood in that condo, and, they, and the, yeah. their selling point was, Tara Reed's brother lives here. Uh, well, that is cool. And, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? That is pretty cool. But then he did because he's a drunk, and he would always be passed out in the um in the hallway. Aww, that's true. Rest in peace. Yeah. No, he's not dead. She. But she died? Is she not dead? I don't know. Did she die? Google if she's dead. I think Tara Reed's still alive. Is she alive? Why did I think she died? Am I stupid? Uh, Tara Reed is still alive? Tara Reed Please dead? Tell me Just still... write dead, though. See if that comes up. Tara Reed dead. She's... Is she dead? See, model killed by... What? She's not dead. I thought she died. Oh, it's a hoax. Oh, I bought into the hoax. <laughs> Who do you think that died? I, I thought it was her. I swear to God, I thought she died. I swear to God on my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she didn't die. Avril Levine died. She did? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, see people, people, see people. Tara Reed yeah, says yeah. online trolls, you should die next after her months. Her mother's heartbreaking yeah, death. Oh, dead. that's terrible. She's not dead. Well, see, I saw death in her name on something. Then yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's not why. You literally thought she was dead. I did think she was yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's um, valid. I, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't. You know. Uh, so I've been to Israel. So I'm happy you're alive, Tara. I just wanted to clear that yeah, up. Yeah, okay, I good. didn't know. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I'm I didn't sure, know. She feels good. I'm sure she watches. What's it? Two bears, one cave. Um. Uh, what I want to talk about, uh, fat fuck and the um, um, the weak. That's what I call him now. The weak. Yeah. Okay. Tom, Tom Segura. The weak. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> my rig. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. My arm. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Can you lower the basketball hoop? Yeah. Did you see what he was doing? Like when you saw it, twitching so like that's like so such fun. a bitch. It's the best bit he's ever Ow. done. <laughs> Ow. Ow. But he did this like yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it hurts. And his leg, he blew out his leg. I'm glad. I'm glad he's okay though. Uh huh. I'm glad he's fine. I honestly, and a piece of me wish he was in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. A piece of me wanted him to be c totally crippled. Think of how many more jokes they'd get out of that. They'd get a whole couple of more seasons of this bad show because of that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or Bert. I would rather Bert be Bert? Cri crippled, yeah. Why? I know, because I think he would like, it'd be funny hip for him to call you for alcohol. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't get himself. So you'd have somebody feeding him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're too good. No, guys. we're glad they're, they're both. Too, they're they're, they're too glad good guys. We're, we're we're glad they're, they're both real good. too good. They're guys. Real I really good guys. do like those guys a lot. I like one of them more than the other. Which one? You know. You like. I'm not gonna Tom, say I, it. I, you like. It's very, it's Let me guess. I like you one like more Tom than the other. better than Bert. I'm not gonna say it. I'll say it. You like Tom better than Bert. I'll say who I like better. Or who do you like better? Let me think about it. I think I like. I Bert. trust Tom more than Bert. Well, yeah. I mean, that's not even, yeah, I don't, so I don't, know, that's, much I don't a, know if it's, that's like, no, that's not crazy, but that's not a crazy um, comment. Um, when they come to the house, cause they both been in my house. Um, there's a little bit more excitement when Bert's coming over though. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Because he could, he could have an incident. Something could happen. Yeah. Like I could, like Bert might have a heart attack at your house and that's a good story. It's yeah. a good pod story. I also believe that, um, him and I have the same, um, wait, no, the, the gay thing. That he's, you think Bert's a little... 35%. You think he's 35%? Maybe. Really? Do you? Yeah. He is kind Because of... I, I, when I laid, because I laid next to him to take a photo. On Netflix, on the Netflix show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by, the, by the bear rug. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, every, yeah. Every, literally every, everybody saw it. Yeah, yeah. And um, he thrusted, just to get in position. Yeah, like a, as a But bitch. he didn't say, excuse me. Mm. You know, like if you weren't gay. This photo right photo, there. That photo right. And you were thrusting forward. Can I tell you something? Yeah. It, it looks like you're scratching yourself, but I know you're holding your genitals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how insignificant your genitals are, that it, it look, just looks like you might have an itch. It doesn't look like you're, like, holding on to anything. It looks like, oh, you're itching your leg. And then I look closer, I was like, no, he's concealing his genitalia. I have a small penis. No, it's not. You don't have a small penis. I actually that's think... That's what I know. I'm, I'm telling you right Bobby, now. Bobby, we've I, seen each other's penises. No, I'm telling you, you don't right. have a small penis. You have small balls, though. Yeah, it's very small testicles. But why are they so small, I wonder? There's no fluid inside. You drained them. Maybe. Because they're smaller than I thought they... They're, they're, they're like... Than, they look like raisins. Little, they're like, black. Well, they're honestly the size of grapes. They're yeah. probably the size of a real grape. They look of a like seedless grape. A California Ian, seedless Ian grape. Ian Edwards' <laughs> testicles. They really do. Because they're dark. Why yeah, because you, Ian... Your I, nutsack is Ian so dark. Ian saw my nutsack and he goes, dog, your, your, your nutsack is darker than mine. Do it the way he would do it. That's, that's Man, my that's impression. that's ridiculous. No, that's my ridiculous. Your nutsack is so dark, Bobby. But I think the bird is... Um, Bobby don't got be, the darkest nutsack. Please don't. Um, Bobby got the darkest nutsack on this earth. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it, 
That's ridiculous. Do Asian Asian No. Do, this is a good week to do Asian accents. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. This week is a great week to do it. No. Just say um I'll do my best. Just, Asian. No, I'll, I'll tell you what to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um in Asian in Asian accents say, I love Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Please, please say it, you know what I mean? Yeah. This episode is sponsored by <laughs> Bright Sellers. <laughs> say, I love Atlanta, Georgia. Come on. <laughs> we'll beep it out. We'll beep it out. Take it out. Just for me, please. They're going to take bad, that out anyway. I had a bad day. I know they will. So just do it because they're going to take it out. You guys have to take it out. But do it. But since they're going to take it out. No, now they're going to leave it in. No, no, no. Since they, Don't you understand no, how this no, works? No, 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 no. Since we're going to take it out. Make it please so fucking racist. Go just go overboard and make me laugh. This is just for you. Yeah, you're just for me. Please, and this is I gonna need get it. Taken I need out. it. It's gonna get taken out. Promise. Yeah. Promise. Mm -hmm. Boys. Yep. They're writing. They're leaving it in. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Just do it. They're, they know what happened. I cannot. It. I'm. I'm not gonna do. I can't. I need to give. Oh, they're gonna fucking edit it out. Please. I'll see the n word. They're I'll see the n word, and they're gonna edit it out. Okay. Say the n word at the same time. I do it. No, no. Yeah. Because you're going to cut it out, right? Right. No, see, do you hear that hesitation? We did we do we did we did do a podcast. Did you tell I told Bert, I told I told I told uh, Nadav I told him uh Oh, you're talking about when we had our so, first, the first podcast. So oh, me yeah. and Andrew one day said, "Oh yeah. Let's do a podcast that will never air and we can say whatever we want." But you got to have context. What happened was we were going to do the first episode of my Whiskey Ginger show that I had ever done. And we got together and you were in a really like bad mood. Something bad had happened. And yeah, you, whenever something bad happens, I just can't. You do got it. In, bad, in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah. And then you said, okay, well then what if we get together and I don't want to air it, but we'll we'll make the it'll be the most wretched, foul, disgusting, dark, un inappropriate shit we've ever done. And we sat it for maybe two hours. Yeah. And I never released it and I have the podcast at my house. And to this day, I don't know what we'll ever do with it, but I think we Can should I, listen I think to we it? should raise yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should raise charity money. If it gets to a million, no, but it will get canceled. We see, we but it's for charity. What if it's for sick kids? If it's for sick kids, well, how can it they get mad at matter. us? It doesn't matter. They're going to clip it up, and then all of a sudden, it's like they're going to put our little faces on, on Each the... charity has to be something that we made fun of in the show. Right. Right? And we'll do a charity for all those people. Is and NAACP then... charity? It sure is. So we'll give it to them. We'll definitely have to give them some money. We say the N-word a, a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely have to give them some yeah. money. And then we have to do um, any a gay thing, a gay movement. Yep, we got to support them big oh, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, because we, we them say big time. We say that a lot. And we and talk then, about. Um, we were very like. Well, you're free anti. With well, it. you're anti-immigration. You're you are big. You were big on. Yeah. Uh, foreigners coming into this country. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like it. Yeah. And uh, look, no, it, the podcast is insane, and I wish one day we could just release it, but you know how it works. Yeah. No can do. Bright Sellers is a wine subscription service that helps you find wines you will love without the normal intimidation or wine pretentiousness you're used to. Here's the deal. Sometimes when I go to like a, a wine place, I get lost. I have no idea what I want. I look at the top. I look for anything $45 and I go, I don't know what I like. I honestly don't know what I like. Merlot, per Pinot Noir, cabs. People are like, do you like a bold cab? I'm like, I don't know what that even means. <laughs> Bright Cellars sources their wines from all over the world. France, Portugal, Australia, South Africa, California, and many more. Plus, Here's what I love. They have these wine education cards so you can learn about the wine tasting notes, serving temperatures, and what foods pair well with your wine. It's so great if you're taking out a date, you can actually say, oh, this would pair well with that. The best part is that if you do not like a wine, Bright Sellers will work with you to include a wine replacement bottle. For Two Bears, One Cave listeners, we are giving you 50% off what? your first six bottles ordered from Bright Sellers. You're getting three bottles for free. Head to brightsellers.com slash cave. That's brightsellers.com slash cave. B-R-I-G-H-T-C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com backslash cave to receive 50% off your first six bottles ordered. Grab your passport, a glass of wine, and come explore the world of wine with Bright Sellers. This episode is brought to you by Bloomscape. I didn't know that having, having a plant shipped to my oh house. Oh my God, that's no, what this is? I, I love that fucking I plant. Know, I didn't know it was going to make me happy. 
Like I opened the box and I saw a plant and I was like, this is my plant. Dude, I got a cactus. I got a cactus. I got, I, mine thing looks like a palm tree. I don't know what I got, but it's amazing. <laughs> it took me it took me off guard when I opened it and I went, who the fuck sent me a cactus? Then I yeah. went, oh, I picked it out. Yeah, you I picked, picked it, it out. out of all the plants. Dude. I picked you and they sent you to me. Just and like, now Lord, I Annie. take care of you. I'm like, oh. fuck these kids. I'm taking care of my plant, man. It's awesome. It was so much fun. This is the funnest sponsor we have. Yeah, I really, I'm telling you, you... You'll feel like so attached to this plant, get, taking care of it, watering it, getting it sun. It's full incredible. sun. I walk, I spent the whole day looking for full sun. Yeah, I spent the whole day finding the perfect place in our new house. They have for full sun. a few, a huge variety of accessories, tools, supplies. They let you know what you need to do to care for what you choose. It's incredible. I'm telling you, it's a it's a mood changer. Get 15% off plant orders of $100 with promo code Cave at Bloomscape.com. That's 15% off. Plant orders of $100 or more at bloomscape.com. Use the promo code CAVE. Especially because yeah. you're still trying to get on SNL. I mean, who knows? I'm not trying to get on SNL. You're not? No. I thought you were trying you to get are. back. You are. You're the one that went out there. I, that was years ago. I'm not trying to go back. But you went out there. You told me you still would go. You, you said you'd still want to go. Bro, I'm 50. Are you really? Yeah. I told the boys that. They didn't believe you. Nadav, that's a big compliment because I said Bobby's almost 50 this year. And... What did you say, Nadav? I said, wow, he looks great for Wow, fun. he looks Thank great. Thank you so much, Nidhi. <laughs> what a great guy. <laughs> Nidhi is a great guy. But my, my, but, um, I know, but um, you know, I think a lot, the, what has a lot to do with uh, how young I look is um, the stress level. You don't have a lot of stress. I try not to have a lot of stress. Do you know why? Because you don't adhere to like a normal schedule that adults would adhere, adhere to. Yeah, I generally you wake up when I, when I wake right, up. You go so to I woke up today go at uh, one, maybe. One o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, very lax. Uh, I didn't go to bed until, dude, oh, fuck. Well, well, you don't drink booze or use drugs, so that and that makes your face look like this. Like Did a you catcher's see the mitt. duets last night on American Idol? Did I ever? <laughs> you know how much I love AI. You hate it. I love American Idol. Do you really? I swear to God. Yeah. We're I really swear to God, I love night. it. But I can I just say something pro about a movie I just saw? Yeah. That um and this is not funny, it's not for comedy's sake. Yeah, so well you've seen their show, it's not comedy. Oh, at that's all. right, that, that yeah, no, that's why just, I was like it's not even stressed it's about like doing a TED this. Talk. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah, yeah. I was like I, there was no pressure. Whenever I've watched this show, when we it's... already crushed in the fucking twenty five minutes. Kill their show. Crush. Crush their show. Cause these two guys just get on here and they're like, um <laughs> uh, 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 Have you ever eaten uh 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 gummy bears? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, bro, I, 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 do you like grape soda? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they cut to an ad. Yeah. That's the whole show. That's what it is. So I saw um, Zack Snyder's Justice Oh, the cut League. of Justice League. Do you see it? I didn't watch it yet, but it's on my... To it's on my uh, oh, do you guys see it? It's on my HBO. Yeah, yeah I saw it. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was watchable. I thought it was way better than... Yeah, the because the first one, I walked out of the theater... I got to the point where the Josh Whedon one, where I was just like, oh, this is what garbage. was the whole point though? They said Snyder's was never going to get released. And then they finally agreed to no, release it. No, so Zack Snyder was directed the movie. I know. And then his daughter committed suicide. We know, we know what happened. I'm saying his cut was never gonna, supposed to come out. So apparently. he leaves the movie. Right. Josh Whedon Josh takes over, over. Right. It's obviously he's like, you know, he doesn't know the vision. Right. He has a bunch of like information in an editing bay. Think how hard that's got to be. It's so though, hard to come into a show. And I'm not, I'm, dude. I think Josh Whedon is so fucking talented. But sometimes, look at me. Yeah. Sometimes someone can come into a show and make it better, better than the original. Than original, yeah. Which, but in this which case, happens. in that case, it didn't. In, in this, this case, case, it did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Zack Snyder's version. <laughs> did you like though? Not, not just like. You loved. Not even just love. I've seen it twice already, and they're four. It's four hours long. Really? Yeah. You I've would, already seen it twice. You watched it back to back. Not back to back. I I saw it and I try to tell everybody about it. Guy, I gotta go home and watch and it. And then I um a couple of days later I saw it again. What do you think is so good about it? What makes it better than what makes it what makes it exceed well, your they're expectations? Cut, they're cut into chapters. Right. Right? Right. So it's almost as if it could have been um released as a show. Right. Right? And like then, a, like a like a series? Yeah. Really? It's like that. Yeah. And I think that the last the epilogue Oh, are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened. It's all right. Okay. Let's just get you some more. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Good boy. So, as a series, the epilogue. Go ahead. What were you saying? You could could have been a series. They could have cut the, the epilogue off. Right. The last part, but um. So, what epilogue means? 
I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart enough to but, know. Uh, what does epilogue mean? Epilogue means the uh, it's the uh, uh, it means uh, it's a, the section at the end of the book. It's a very that's end. what it, so that's what it was. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Set, the epilogue of it with the yeah. end, right? Yeah, they could have cut that out, but there were some cool things in it. But um, yeah. it could have been a series. And number two, you know, they really got into Cyborg's character and his history, and you didn't like that. No, I loved it. Oh, okay. Because in, in the movie, it's so brief. It, right. They just show him, hook, hook, you know what I mean? They show just hooked up under right, and he's. Right. And then there's nothing much about that's him, it, right? right? But here you see, you know, he, he played football, you know, his relationship with his mom and his dad. Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I know all that stuff. And it, it also shows his, he has heart. Like it, he does it, some, it humanizes him. Humanizes him, exactly. That's good. I think that um, Wonder Woman looks great. Who, who is that again? Gal Gadot. It's Gal Gadot, right? Yeah. Gal, Gal, Gal Gadot? Yeah, Gal Gadot. And she's one of, she's, yeah. in, she's, you know, she's in Nevada. You know, oh, I have a... Yeah. What? She's a, she's a, she's a, she's a Nevada. She's a Nevada. She's she's a Nevada. I know she is. I know she is. And this is why I think she is because um, I was in a movie called um. Harold and Kumar. No, keep him up, keeping up with the keeping Joneses. up with the Ken Joneses. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I'm in it. Are you really? You didn't know. Bobby Lee and Keep It Up with the Joneses. Bobby Lee in Keeping Up with the Joneses. I didn't know you were in the movie, and I saw it. Where are you? Where are you, bud? I'm in the movie. It's not in any of the images. There you are. Yeah. Is that you, like a little Korean uh, poker player or pro, uh, no, that's a dealer? That's another movie. That's a different movie. Oh. Yeah. Well, we don't see you in this. Keep going. Keep going. There? No. Yeah. No. Go up to the top. It's got to be one of the first things. Do Bobby Lee keeping up with the jokes? Yeah. Cut and paste. Good boy. Uh, Bob, how come I don't see you in any of these images? Were you really in this? Yes. What was your What was your uh, If you look at if if you go to hey, my hey, Instagram, hey, hey, calm down. Uh, what was the If you go to my Instagram, what was the name of the role? What I was forgot. The, okay, so it wasn't forget prominent. Forget now the story. Forget the story now because you're just irritating me. It's no, like, no, 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 no. I want you to no, because it. now you got me in a fucking thing where like, I did. I, I don't think you. I was in it. Yeah, I got you. Maybe yeah, you yeah. weren't. Yeah, what yeah. if you weren't? Yeah, in yeah. It? <laughs> Bobby Lee, IMDb. Let's click on that. Let's see what he acted in. And I just don't see Keeping Up with the Joneses on there. Is it a movie you watched and wanted to be in? Was it like that? Yeah, just go. I'll find it. Okay. Here it is. There it is. Ricky Lou. Ricky Lou. Ricky Lou. Thank you. All right. So what what happened? Well, it's not much. No, come on. Of the momentum. Come on, Baba. Because you have you have, to, you have a tendency to do that. Come on, Booby. Anyway, I saw Gal Gadot because she's in the movie. Okay, you saw Gal Gadot and what? I waved her. She didn't really wave back. <gasps> but I don't think she saw me. You think she just disrespected far away. you? No. Did you say hello? I could, I, I, maybe I was so nervous. Who was your scene with? With uh, Johnny Ham. How hot is he? Oh my God. Holy shit, is that guy a babe? And, I've seen him and, once. And, in, and with, in... with Zach Galifianakis. And you know what? Here's the thing about Zach I want to say out loud. It was you and Zachy? Me, Zach, are in the scene with, yeah, with John Ham. And here's what I want to say. I want to, so I haven't seen Zach since he made it. From in like 2009 or something. Yeah, yeah. So I hadn't seen him since he did The Hangover, right? Because yeah, I started with him. Right, we did open mics and stuff back in the day in look the how, '90s. Look at how fast he took off. He's great. I'm, I'm very happy for him. He deserves literally every piece. But of I, it. you know, when you you don't know how pe what ch if people change or if they're going to change because of the yeah, success. You don't, you don't know, right? right? So, um, you know, I, I booked the movie. I, I fly to, I think it was Atlanta, Atlanta. Georgia. It's be in yeah, Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta, and um, as soon as I get off the bus, you know what I mean, to get on the set, he sees me. He runs across the set in front of John Hamm and everybody and so, gives me a hug aww. to make me feel at home like I'm like a big deal yeah. and that I'm welcome. You know what I mean? And I like those little things, you know what I mean? Like if you were single and I was super famous, I would get you laid all the time. You'd be getting a lot of fresh, fresh pussy. pee. Okay. You got to cut that out. We fresh pee. Fresh pee. Sorry. Fresh pee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But that's the kind of guy he is. He made you he feel really, at home. He, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll tell you who else got me laid. <laughs> who else? Chris Rock. Bobby Lee. Yeah, so I, I'll tell you. Did I tell you a story? Before? I don't know. I don't know. I saw, um, it's, it's Burke. Oh, Tom just called me. What, fat? Okay, good. Dick. He's gone. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, yeah. So, um. These guys got a lot of nerve calling us. Or I think they, you I, call Burke you know back. What, I'll tell you why. They're uncomfortable. They, they can't do it like we can. They don't know how to cross We can go us. to a new environment and just and explode. Right. 
they're over there going, what do we do? These guys go to a town when they're doing it. Maybe when... these guys. I have a feeling that these two, yeah. Naveed and the Rotund, yeah. right? That they have a lot to do. Ah. Uh, the... Hello? Hey. Oh my hey. God, look at what came out of my mouth. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? That was stuck in my throat the whole fucking time. Oh my God, Tom, uh, Tom uh, Bobby just hawked up what looks like a tonsil stone. That's <laughs> that's no shit. I'm not kidding. It's the the size of like an M&M. Hey. That's huge. It's on your table. And I know it was there. in my throat the whole oh, time. Listen. What's up? Rudy just fucking won an Oscar. She he is, she's an actor, man. I know, she we know. We know that already. We, we know how dope yeah. she is. By the way, uh, the yeah. crew over here is loving us. And, uh, and and they even said to us like this is a completely different level, guys. A new level. They said you guys are leveling up this show. <laughs> yeah, so we're like, I know. Should we dumb it down a bit? You know. Yeah, he's N good. He's N good. Uh, Nikov Nikov said, slow down a yeah. little bit. You guys are yeah. crushing way too hard for the time. Like he's like, usually uh, we had to go do a movie review to slow it down. Yeah, we like, had oh, to. Let's go slow it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, we need to bank some shows. Go ahead and. Do <laughs> hey, but I feel like Rudy's ten times the actor Bobby is. I feel like it's gonna cause some problems. Definitely. Oh, his face just dropped. See, I love what they're doing. His trying face to do. just dropped. I love what they're trying oh to do. I God. love it. It's not gonna oh affect me. Oh my God, dude! It's not gonna affect. No, he's me. touching his face. When he yeah, touches yeah, his yeah, face, it means he's nervous. Me. He's nervous, nervous when he touches his, his face. Oh my God! He, when he gets sad, he touches his face. Why doesn't he ask? Her for help when he has auditions and stuff. Yeah, that's really funny. That's oh, good. dude, yeah. you're getting Is that Tom talking. He's touching. Because I saw the horror movie he did. Oh, what yeah. was the horror movie? Oh yeah. Okay. Call okay. Okay. What did he just okay. say? He's saying pretty racist shit, but just give him a second. <laughs> okay. You know what? I, I'm gonna pee on the table. Bobby says yeah. he wants to poop on the table. Can I pee on the table? Can he pee oh, on it? Like a Bobby move. Can he oh, pee on it? That'd be great. It's so fun doing this. <laughs> we should switch partners maybe at one time Tell yeah Nadav. tell Nadav what he's listening is he listening yeah he can hear yeah tell him his phone's ringing pick up your phone Navad Jesus hey what's, okay, what's up Bert sanitize the mics <laughs> sanitize the mics he said first of all yeah. you guys got corona that's now true. I already had it. Bobby yeah. is impervious. Never to had it. it. He can't get How it. How is he impervious? Because you know they say if your if your blood type, his blood type is soy sauce. They can't get it if you have soy sauce blood. Dude, yeah. He eats birds. Oh sh! You might honestly, you might, you might be able to get it. That's what, Bert's mic. My mic. you know my twenty three yeah, minute. I tell you what it can says. See? Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, Bobby's on my side. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh, he's disappointed oh. that he's on that you're on his side. Bobby's mad right now. He's pissed off that you said that about the acting thing. It's not that. It's, it's so, this, oh, really? this is all just waste of time. Oh, he thinks it's a waste of time. Okay. All right. Okay. Hang up the all phone. Right. All right. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Fuck, man. All right. So what? So what? Your 23 and Me said what? And we uh, did your 23 and Me. Didn't we do that on no, the show? But the, no, but she, there was a new rebel. They sent me a, a later email. Like an update of what you I'm really 99 are? 99% Neanderthal. Are you really? Are you serious? What's the 1%? What's the other one? Human. I don't know. Regular. Regular, yeah. Wow. And I go, I cried. Yeah, because that, that hits hard. Yeah, because I don't even know what it means. And I don't know what it means either. Yeah. What, is, what is Neanderthal? It just means you, you're descended from the originals. Oh, boy. There I am. What is it? You bringing up a picture of a guy in blackface, Nadav? No, no, there I am. That's Bobby right there. Yeah. There he is. There's Bob. Now, are you saying so you... No, and, and so, go to the second photo. Homo Neanderthals, Homo sapiens, Neanderthalus. Do you think that looks anything like you? Can you put up a side by side of that and Bobby? Do you think perhaps that looks anything like you? Because I do see some qualities of it. There it is. Yeah, I think so. Look at and his hair is tied up just like your hair gets tied up. Yeah, yeah, like look. You already have. Uh, yeah, bring up a picture of Bobby Lee right next to it. Now put your no. Put the bun at the top of your head. Put the bun at the top well, of your hair. Let me redo it. Let me redo it. Then. Yeah, let's redo it because he has a bun right now. Okay. Okay. Bob, it's pretty close. It's pretty fucking close. Let me see. Is it hard being fat in that fat suit? Dude, that looks just like... Like, they're going to have to... Like, stare into that camera, and they're going to have to take your head and just put it next to that picture. That's really good. 
No, go like this. It's it's looking. You're looking away. So look at the camera. But yeah, exactly. That's that's pretty close, dude. That looks eerily similar. Did you get it? Yeah, he got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the, well, I put this back on. But the reason why she brought it up. Why? Well, first of all, she wasn't even gonna tell me my girlfriend. Kalila didn't want to tell. She gets all the, my emails too. Did she think it was gonna hurt your feelings? No, she goes. I have to tell you this. I wasn't gonna share it with you. But you're nine nine percent natural. I go. Well, you gotta keep that to yourself. But she's like, no. But if you get COVID, it's gonna do. It's gonna fuck you up more than no, uh, normal. Why would it fuck you up more? That doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. That's what she says on the in the in the in the, in the um in the pamphlets. It says. Bring a uh, Google. Who gets COVID the worst? Who gets it the worst? What kind of people? The major ge genetic risk factor for severe COVID-19. Click on that. <gasps> oh, shit, Bob. This is you. What does it say? The severe COVID-19, the major, go, go up to the top. Go up to the top. The major genetic risk factor for severe COVID-19 is inherited from Neanderthals. Holy shit. That's you. Yeah. COVID-19 pandemic has caused considerable morbidity and mortality. The result is death, death of over a million people to date. Manifestation of the disease caused by da 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 Go down to where it might say anything about why Neanderthal linkage well, it does, it's, we're not a science pod. Let's just, I'm just. Theirs a, is. Yeah, but how oh, it is? Yes. But, take, but take, take, take my word for it. My girlfriend, how bright she is. She's Very like, smart. She's like, dude, if, because. Scarily smart. Yeah. She, and then it loses her smart points because she's still, she is with you. And that's strange to me because she's a very intelligent person. But I guess they say, you know, got to keep an idiot around to make yourself happy. Well, it's so funny because I had my ex-girlfriend on my podcast yesterday with my current girlfriend double down huh and they just ripped me apart well yeah well, that's your fault for walking in that fire why do you give them ammunition no like but that? it kind of made me realize it's like you know i kind of um i i, I they should build a statue of me <laughs> i'll tell you why they because, replaced robert e lee with no but there's robert no e. lee. but there's just no reason why right if you really look at me yeah right the level of you know what i mean girlfriends i've been able to have you're saying you 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 I'll kick your like i'm like every time. i'm like hitting it out of the park yeah you hit home runs yeah and it's like that's why i always tell like i always go to ugly people on my shows <laughs> you find the ugliest <laughs> yeah, person yeah, yeah, yeah. and you go up to them and hey, go, don't worry about it man hey i'll go and I go, hey i'll go and they're like what are you talking about? i'm not ugly i go yeah man you are you know <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you know what i mean do you think i can remind them you know what i mean yeah you're but, as ugly but, as that. but you're trying to get you're trying to say you're on their level no, I just go like, you know, sometimes I like, if I see like an uggo, right, guy. Right. You see a good old three out there. Right. And there's like, he's with another uggo and they're just kind of sitting there and this, you know, you're like, we that. love comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I want to, and they look up to me. Yeah. Right. Because I like, you know, because you look like one of them. You, you look like you used to be one of them. I am still. No, you're different now. A little bit. You got a little bit of money to change. Yeah. Yeah. So then I always tell them, I go, dude, it's like, it's our time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why is it it's your our time? time to shine? Who are the ugliest people at your shows? Men? Well, I get people like this. Yeah, what is that? And they go, Hey, I want to you know that I really love the comedy. <laughs> right? And I always go, oh, You want to meet, man? <laughs> and they go, What do you mean? What is I that? I go, You're an uggo. I know, uggo. Yeah. Now, what is that? What is that guy? What, what is that? I don't want to say. What is it? Because if I, we have to cut it out. I'm not going to say it. Okay, good. Don't say it. <laughs> 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 I get a lot of. They're not, they don't look like that, by the way. But I have to cut it out. But um, what 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 fan what percentage of your fan base? They're fun because I never. Heard... What percentage of your fan base is Asian? Mm. What percentage is Asian? That it, you it, think? It's weird because it's like over you... half. No, under half. Way under. Twenty percent, thirty percent. Even way under that. Really, you think it's that low? Yeah, because I remember you know Toronto is a heavily Asian populated place, right? So is Vancouver. And Vancouver, right? Yeah. And I remember like I played the Yuck Yucks there once. Yeah. And I don't know why the club owner said this to me, but he goes, this is strange. I go, what's strange? We sold out. So I know, but I advertise in every Asian media outlet there is. He's like, I went down to Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. And I put up flyers you all over. They put me in a hotel in Chinatown. Well, of course. That to makes make sense. me feel comfortable. Well, yeah, you want to be around your own. Yeah, which was like so insulting. Why? Because I'm not Chinese, fucker. Yeah, but, but it's close enough. I mean. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, he goes, there's like 10 Asians here. He thought it would be every show. With yeah, Asian. yeah. He's like, because when we have Asian acts, it's mostly all Asian. Well, but like, like most Ko of like it. Like when Joe, go, when Koi, like he's at his. Yeah. My audience is, is more like weird, eccentric. You know what I mean? Whites? 
Some whites. A lot of, I get a mix of people. No black people, though. Love them. They love me. You don't get black people oh, on your shows. Oh, my God. They love me. Comment below if you're black and you like Bobby Lee, because I doubt love... it. What am I, what am I saying? Black guys don't like this show. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but black people. The bigot and the racist? Is yeah, that yeah, what this yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah we shouldn't. Bl black, black people really like me a lot. I get more black people on my show than you do, for sure. That's not even... I, 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 let's make a bet. The next show I go to, I'm going to... Uh, let's see how where? much more where black people. If in Atlanta? I'll get black people in Spokane, Washington. So okay? will I, dude? Nah, you won't. Not like me. Yeah, and I'll get the good ones. Leave it in. Every rate, you know what? No, I'll stand by it. <laughs> what could that even mean? <laughs> I know. That's what could mean. that I'll even mean? It. You know what? And I'll get You're... the ones that come to my show on time. What could that even mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I. <laughs> what I mean is, is that, um, and keep it in because I think that, you know, I think that every race has good ones and bad ones. Ah, do you think whites have good ones? Because you always said that we have no good ones. Oh my! You have the Schindlers. You think you the think, Schindler's like the? Sh I, I, you think most whites are bad? You've said no, that to no, no, no. Me. You, I think a lot. Here's, dude. I'm being honest with you, and I want to say good things about whites. As people. one of my best friends, you should say something. I nice want to say something great about, about whites, right? There, there's always a Schindler, like a guy that, like, I know, I can imagine, like, mm -hmm. you know, when the Japanese were in those internment camps in the in the 40s, late 40s, 40s, yeah, yeah, um, that there was like a white guy that like put. You, you know, smuggled in sandwiches underneath right. the gate that right? helped them out. Yeah, there's always one. There's a good right, one. and then you look at like you know. Like the civil rights movement in the '60s, there were white there people. Like, yeah, there's there like that white guy's like, I'm, I'm do or die, man. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm for the cause, and they they risk their bodies and their lives for the cause. You know, right. They have like these bleeding hearts, and I just I love those types. Those whites you like. Yeah, it's just not these two. <laughs> <laughs> these type are different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. have an uh, ulterior motive. It's funny because they they these guys they they do hide who they really are. Yeah. Let's you know, talk like, about it. Like Bird is one of those guys where like. I shouldn't say this, that this is not okay, but yeah. I, I ran into him in his neighborhood. Yeah. We don't live super far. We live kind of in a similar area. And um, he's he's off the back of his car. He's like got a, like a razor blade and he's taking off a sticker. I can I guess what it is? Sure. Trump sticker. Huh? Trump sticker. No. What? No, we'll say it. Well, let me say it. On the count of three, we'll say it because you know what it is. What? It's not an American flag. It was a one, two, three. Confederate, Confederate flag. flag. Burt Kreischer has a, had a confederate flag. I fucking believe I it. I swear to God. And he's razoring it off. And I was like, what's up with that? And he's like, oh, was, hey, dude, I was just doing it as a right. bit. It was okay. just a bit. He said it was a, I'm so a glad prank. Said, I'm so glad you said that. It made me I'm going to tell you what, who Bert is, all right? Yeah. Bert's not a killer. A killer a human being? Like, yeah, it, 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 if Bert was around in any century, he wouldn't kill. But he also... Not a murderer. You he's mean. not a murderer. Right. right? But he also um, will let that slide. Like, for oh. instance, if he lived in Wisconsin, Would next you, to Ed Gein... Right. So Ed Gein was like one of those prolific, one of my favorite serial killers. Very prolific. It's your, it is your favorite. We talk <laughs> yeah, about Ed Gein. Yeah, I love Ed Gein. Every two weeks we yeah, talk about like, Gein. Like you know, and I think that if Bert like knew about him, he would just let like, be like, ah, oh, that's his thing. Yeah. Oh, like, that, guy's, would, that guy's cool. Yeah, what do you mean? He's yeah, just cool. Yeah, he's got his quirks. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're like, gonna go hiking yeah, next week. He wouldn't report it. No, he would not. Yeah, yeah. No, he would conceal a killer. He would probably conceal it. And so what? That's would, a, and what would Tim do? He was, oh yeah, Tim. So, what's his Sawyer? So, Sawyer. Tim Sawyer. Tim. Tim. No, no. His name is. Segura. Tim, Tim Segura. Segura. Um, See, he, I feel like he, he's just he, a regular. He, he might what? be a snitch. Not just a snitch. He'd snitch out Ed Gein. There's just nothing special about him. Really? You think so? He's just a white guy. You know what I mean? Just you know a how white you, guy. what you say about white guys? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, you ever see, I'll, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see a movie like Terminator or whatever, right? Love it. right? One of my favorite movies. Or, or, or any movie, and you, you know, like, you know, there's fighting in, the, in a downtown area, right? Oh, yeah. And they're, right? And in the distance, an extra will get electrocuted. But, you know, you just see in the distance, and he's got, <laughs> that's Tom Segura. That's right? Like, no one cares. Yeah. He doesn't have a story. Yeah. He's just this guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I totally get that. And this episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. Oh, I fucking ride or die, Whoop. It's I'm a the ride best, or die. Man. It's the best. I just found out that on Whoop, you can go into the camera mode. It'll then post, take a video of your heart rate, your uh, all of your stats on it, and you can post it to Instagram. I'm doing that all the time now. You are? I love... I'm Whoop is expanding. It's not just the best wearable fitness wearable i've ever worn in my entire life but they're expanding their brand as they do it's not just hrv recovery yeah. strain coach they keep making it better and better and they better do. yeah the updates are incredible and they also like you get weekly and monthly insight when you actually you actually dive in and you see what happened in your month 
how much how active you were, how you slept. Fifteen then, percent, fifteen strain today. To, by the way, you're going, man. Twenty two percent recovery. Someone had a bottle of wine last yeah. night. Yeah. Well, listen. Hey, but you know it. You know it now. Yeah. Uh, our listeners today, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time to give it a shot. For our listeners, you can save fifteen percent off a Whoop with the code Bears. Go to Whoop W H O O P dot com. Use the code Bears at checkout and save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery strain and sleep insights from Whoop. Did you know two out of three men will experience some hair loss by the time they're 35 years old? More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. There are only two FDA medications approved that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers them both. I'm using one of them. I've been using one of them since I was 22, and I still have a full luscious head of hair. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient, virtual doctor consultations, and medication delivered straight to your door every three months. That is so great. You don't have to run to the store and go, oh, shit, it's running late on medication. It's 10 o'clock at night. I need to go to bed. I got to put it in. But I, now I got to go to freaking the store. Discreet packaging. So if you've got roommates or you're living with a chick, you don't want her to know. And proven results. Keeps has more than five-star reviews, more than any of its competitors. Prevention is the key when it comes to hair loss. Treatment can take up to four to six months to see results. So act now. If you're ready to act, take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash bears to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bears to get your first month for free. Keeps.com slash bears, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bears. Keep your hair. And it's like, um, I don't know how... Christina fucks him. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I've heard, uh, I don't think I don't think that's she true. does. That's yeah, true. I don't think I don't think that's she true. does. Because well, have kids, so that's fact. Who knows that those are his kids? Well, but first of all, one of them was Puerto Rican. I don't. I was like, whose kid is that? He's Mexican. No, he's Port he's Portuguesean. No, he's from uh, Peru. Peru. Peruvian. Is he Peruvian? Right. Yep. Yeah. Who is that that said yeah? It was me and Annie. Who? Me and Annie. Oh, who's any? I think that's the one that you're who's calling Annie? rotund. I'm the black guy. He's. <laughs> I know any. I... <laughs> I love you, man. I never call you rotund. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> remember, remember when you said you get the good black people to your show? Yeah. Is he one of the good ones or one of the bad ones? And he's one of the good ones. He is. Yeah. Look at me in the face and say it honestly. He's not, is he? Mm -mm. No. No. He met me outside. He yeah, met, I can tell. He met me outside. First he, of all, he goes, hey, Santino, right here. And he came out, and I immediately locked my car. Yeah. I put my purse on the other side of my body. When I, I came here, scared. did you notice? He didn't even look at me. He can't. He's not I went straight to. here. Did you, I'll be honest, Any? did you even say hello or how are you or anything like that? Nope. I was in the middle of uh, framing. To answer your question, no, I did not. Framing? Yeah. I was in the middle. Of the dude, cam dude, these dude. cameras are on sticks. Bro, bro, bro. Framing? It's That's one, it's a shot. That's fucking rude. That's rude. It's rude. And I bet you money, huh? that's why I'm not really on your back about calling me when I was on the freeway. it's them. Any. I know. Not just them. Not the Jew. The Jew has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Which is our new movie, The Jew Has Nothing to Do With It. Please go see it in theaters. <laughs> it's not going to get distribution, but we're yeah. trying. Yeah. No, he's really nice. Who is the other guy that's in there? I didn't see the the other guy had headphones on. It has back to us and was editing another one of Tom's. Pods. Well, there's oh yeah, there's one in there that I was so rude to because I was in such a bad mood. Yeah, and he's trying to say hi. I just walk right, ran, walked right past. Him. Who's that? Who's in that room? Uh, Zane is in the room with us. Zane. What does he do? Uh, right now he's just helping out. He's uh, right now he's logging. Is he an intern? You pay him or what? Yeah, we pay him. Okay. You know, you know what this is? This whole operation. What? This is like a front. This is like a front. There's not these guys don't do shit. I know they don't. These guys are filter. You know they're filtering non fungible tokens or so. They're doing some illegal uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are There's doing weird going on shit. Here. The NFTs that Tom and Christina are selling are are nudes. Do you know that? They're doing NFT nudes of them. Nude like baseball cards. No, no, no. <laughs> they are. They're doing nudes. Like with you can see the vagina and everything. Yes, NFT nudes. Tom and Christina NFT nudes. Right here below. Go to Tom and Christina NFT nudes. Right here. If you click on the link right here. Yeah. Don't don't touch that. Please don't no, touch that. I, I, how about this, right? How about this? Okay. Don't, don't put it near me. No, no. Because I'm gonna throw up if you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. This is the thing that came out of my mouth that was lodged in my throat. Bobby, is that a tooth? Is it a piece no, of not, a tooth? It's not. It's, it's, it's potato. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna, this really is gonna say a lot. This is gonna say a lot for me. 
Mm. And I swear to God. Don't ask me to eat it because I'm not going to fucking do on it. On my mother's life. Don't ask me to eat it because I'm not going to do it. Can, can I just propose it first? All right. I swear to God on my mother's life. Okay. That if you eat this. See, I knew you were going to fucking <laughs> ask me to eat it. That, that it's I, so obvious when you ask me to do I something. understand that. We ate each other's pubes two weeks I, ago. I Is that not did. enough? Yeah, no, it's not for me. This right here. If you ate this, I would have so much comedy fucking feelings for you. Like, I would think that you were, like, the funniest guy and a, a real warrior in comedy. You know what's so disgusting? This is a yes and. Is that, that I even, like, considered it for a heartbeat uh, sake? I know, I know. There's a piece but of my brain that you, just went, well, is if it worth it? You don't have to it? chew on it. Just stick in your mouth and swallow it. And I'm going to say right now, that makes you one of the, a comedy master. And because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm being real, right? You're saying Doug me. Stanhope would do it. Doug Stanhope would do it? 100%. He can't taste anything. He Jim smoked Jeffrey, a thousand Jim cigarettes. Jim Jeffries would do it. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, and, and just the fact that you don't think of it, just don't even think about it. Just stick it in your mouth and eat it. No, there's literally no way. Jim Jeffries would do it. All right. You're not a master. And you'll never get there. Then let me hawk something up from my throat I'll and have eat you it. eat it. Go ahead. If I throw up, I'm going to make myself throw up and you'll, you'll lick some of my throat up. Yes. Jim. Hi. Uh, uh, hey, you, hey, me and Bobby Lee are doing a podcast and we have an argument. He said, he said, he, okay, he just hawked up a piece of fucking food from this morning, this disgusting pig. A piece of potato. And he said, you're not, my, you're not a real friend and not a comedic genius unless you eat it here uh, live on camera. And, and I said, nobody would do that. And he said, Jim Jeffries would do it. Because if you're a comedic genius, I think you're one of the best yeah, comics. I, out. I, I would do it, but sadly, I'm not in the room right now. So, you know, I, I, I keep me genius at home. No, I wouldn't eat his food. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot. You're an idiot, Bobby. See? Oh, you would do it on the I spot. love you, Jim. I'll I love you, later. Jim. Thank you. Anyway, Bye. Now it broke apart. See? Just fucking eat it. No, oh, don't get it near me. Fucking don't it. fucking. Just fucking eat it. Get it away from me. Just fucking eat it. Get it away from me. Eat it or I'm gonna die tomorrow. Good. I hope you fucking die tomorrow because I'm not gonna eat your I'm not gonna eat your breakfast. Sit down. I'm not eating it. Sit down. Oh god. Oh my god, dude. Fucking good, dude. So gross. It's... It still has a potato flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shirt off for the last half of this podcast. Because oh, yeah, yeah. people need to see what you're working with. Why do you we, we didn't even do this bit of that? Because I, I wore this to, to look like Bert, and we never even did it. Yeah, but people will get it. Yeah. Does he look fat on camera or no? Uh, yeah, he looked a little thin. Look at that. God damn, you look good. You look good. You, don't, you, know, what, you know what's funny? You don't look fat. So you're not, you, it's like not a funny joke. You just look like you. Yeah. Would you ever take your shirt off and do sets on stage without your shirt like him? I've been completely naked. It's, uh, what, you, you can still talk to the mic. I, know, I, I, I have to hear it. I've been completely naked on stage. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know you have. And we're not doing that anymore, right? Remember? Would it be weird if I peed on the table a little bit? I think you should do it. Yeah. But it's rude. And it's not funny. It is, it is rude. It Don't is, do it. It is yeah, rude. it's not funny. He said it is rude. Is it funny, though? Uh, Nope. No entertainment value at all. Zero entertainment value. Do not pee on the table. Okay. What if you pee in the cup? How about that? <laughs> No, I'm not going to do Nope, that. don't do it. All right. See how bad he wants to I pee? I was really going to take a shit uh, today on the table. So here's my thing. Pee is gross because it's like liquid and hard to clean up, but yeah. a little turd on the table is funny to me. <laughs> I agree that, uh, that, that pee is rude because it gets everywhere, but a little turd goes nowhere. Yeah. And stays where it is. I got to see if... I'm going to call Kalila to see if the dog's okay. Yeah, please. Do you, mind? do you mind? No, please. I don't mind. But let me tell you something. Yeah. And I hope they can't hear me right now. Yeah. But those fucking guys, I've seen their show. I can't even see it. It's not fun. It's not, and like here's the thing is, and the dog was like, no, we don't lift anything out. It's like they fucking should. They yeah. should cut a lot of it. They should write it. They should fucking get. They should like get, they have a staff writer. Or just get. Yeah, they should have writers. Just write out the. Or body. they should get some people on it that are like good. Yeah. You're yeah, like, oh, and you got you got. By the way, you, what you got two of the same guy on the show. That's so you got a, you got two guys like two of the same so, guys. So interesting. Anyway, um, I hope they don't. Yeah, I don't want anybody whatever. to hear that. Um, we love those guys though. They're fucking great. All right. What have you so, guys got? You have pre-planned bits for us. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, were you waiting for it? Yeah, they got bits for them. I, yeah, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, do yeah. we get bits? Let me put my shirt back on. It's not working. No, I like it. I, I, I... No, because then you have to put the fat suit on. So you leave that off, All please. Right. Yeah. You don't have anything prepared for us, but you prepare for those fucking guys? Why? Because you knew that we're better than them? What that we'll mean? just we, take it and run? We don't prepare for two bears, one cave. 
Oh, you don't prepare for you two. Don't prepare. No, there's not like prepped stuff. Like we'll have like a five minute sit down beforehand to be like, is there anything that's at the top? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't either. All right, so it's good. I mean, we, we, they're we, on uh, par. Yeah, I mean, we these guys I, are because there's certain things that are so going on in the fun. world right now that are um. Everything that, is sad right now. I don't yeah, talk about yeah, any that's, that a, that's the problem. You know what I mean? There's always yeah. like you know. How about this? There, I mean, uh, I did predict Joe Biden falling down those stairs on Air Force One. I literally said it on my podcast. It's so fucking funny because it's like I couldn't watch it. Him falling downstairs? Yeah, because it's like... Um, Pull it I, up. I can't watch it. Why? It's so funny to watch him fall downstairs. I know, but it's like... I Going like it. up, I want, by the way. I know, but because I hated the last guy so much that I just want this guy to like... You want him what? Be able to walk stairs. He can't, dude. He's so old. <laughs> He's so fucking old. This guy falls downstairs yeah. up. He falls upstairs. This guy fell upstairs. By the way, Kamala Harris foaming at the mouth. She's like, yeah, Joe, let's keep getting you on planes. She's loving this thing. If he goes, she's in. You can't tell me that she's not excited about that. Here he goes. All right. Thank you so much for your service. I appreciate you. So, so you're the best. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Hi. And then does the salute. And then. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Come on. So funny. That's just funny. I don't care who you are. It's funny. Now, rewind it a little bit. What I don't get is you know, it, he know, slips. It's not just one slip. It's here. It's a pause. It slip. Okay. Then it's another stair slip. And then, again, oh, man, is that funny to me? I'll tell you why it's not funny. It's funny. I'll tell why? you why it's not funny. You, oh, because you love Joe Biden. No, that's so not why. Much. That's not why. Because you it's know, funny. You know, if you would have slipped. Any president, I would have laughed. If he would have slipped and just kind of kept walking, right? Yeah. But he does a leg rub. It hurts. Yeah. You hurt it his old leg. He's fucking 90 years old. It fucking hurts. I know. I know. They shouldn't have right? put someone and then, so... And then to give him one of those wheelchair things. And then on top, of it, on top of it, you know what I would... If give I was, him one of those, woo, the wheelchair that rides yeah, up You know stairs. what I would tell him to? If I, if I was his, like, you know... His aide? Yeah, secretary of... Uh, secretary of falling? Whatever. Fall <laughs> secretary of health? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Health, I'd just be like, you know, next time you're in that situation, don't do the salute at the top. <laughs> just go in. Just go in. Just get the fuck it's out of it. It's embarrassing. Yeah, right there. Because watch right now, he's got to, I got to fucking do this thing now. But he, but he has to. I fell. No, he legally has to. Yeah, though. yeah. He's got to do it. Yeah. Do I feel bad for him? Yeah, I hope the guy is fucking okay. But also, you have to laugh at that. I would laugh at any president that would fall um, upstairs. Yeah. I love feigning. Feigning is so funny. Feigning is. Do dude, so, do, find presidents fainting. No. By the way, when Trump had toilet paper on his going up the stairs, that was hilarious. Google this, dude. YouTube this, all right? So I, I I watch American Idol. I love AI. All right, so there was a girl. So they did they were doing duets, and yeah. afterwards they were giving notes, mm -hmm. like Lionel Rich is like doing giving her notes. Yeah, and she fucking passes out and falls on her face. What? They can't play American Idol clips. Why? It's copywritten by they can't, you can't do on it. YouTube. I, they, they know they know more than we know. Okay. Don't play it. Two presidents fainting. Let's see if there's any presidents that are fainting for real. What can't? I don't know why. I don't know why. Tell me why you can't play a uh, uh, woman faints with President Obama. No, you nailed it. It's copyright. I know. Can oh. we play it, have him see it, and then talk about it at least? No, no, because the fans can't see it. They can just Google it on YouTube later. I got to say, well, you saw it? Oh, you can talk about it. Yeah. God. Portuguese president collapses. American Idol what? Okay, so what is it? Lionel duets, Richie? Duets. Duets. Fainting duets. Duets fainting. He's great. Oh, is that her? Yeah. <whistles> All right. Just watch it. No, I want to watch it. it. I want to watch it. Cut it out. Ooh. She hit her face right on the ground? Yeah. Did she knock her teeth out? She has stitches all over her neck. Oh. Chin and stuff. But you know what's so funny? Oh, man. You know what's so funny? What? So after this, because you could tell that Lionel was about to tell her, right? She's going to get it. You're getting cut. Oh. Because they were cutting everyone from the show. And now that they're going to Right, her so in. then, now, now she goes out, go. and then later, Lionel Richie goes to the, the other one and says, I just want to let you know you're both going to go in to the next round. Yeah. Which was like, it could have been a ploy. Oh. Like, you think yo, she's... Yo, yo, watch me faint. Yeah, her friend, she was like, I'm going to get cut. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to faint. I'm about we're going to gonna make it to the next round. But since we can't play it, let's move on. Fuck it. Damn, I want... Why can't we play that stuff, though, huh? They do, they copyright it. That's so fucked up. Thanks a lot, NBC. We, play stuff like this? we we have before, I think. But I don't know what they do. 
Let me see. Turn around. Is it nice? Let me see it. I always forget you have that tattoo. Is it nice now? Turn, turn around all the way. Let me see. Turn me. Like, like if you saw, bro, 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 if you saw me like at a strip club. Well, turn so I can't see your face. So if I just saw that and I couldn't, well, let your hair down. Take your, take, no, hold on. Let your hair down. Take your hair out so I can see. Cause if I, if I imagine that I couldn't tell if it was you or just a hot chick. But be, try to use your imagination. I'm trying right now. I'm going to try right now. You're at a strip club in Thailand. And then put it back. Yeah. Put it all right. the way back. Strip yeah. Club in Thailand, right? Yeah. I like it like that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wait, stop. Be fair. Be real. Don't, don't shake it so fast. Yeah. Slow is good. Yeah. Slow is good. Oh, did you drop something? Oh, what did you drop down there? Oh, it looks like something. Oh, good. But Thanks then, for. But then all of a sudden, she turns around. <laughs> <laughs> it would fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do got a nice little tush. Yeah. It's so tight. It's like tight and tiny. Yeah. Can I tell you something? As years have gone on, you've become more attractive to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> From when we first met till now, you become way more attractive to me. Honestly, when you first met me, what'd you think? Yuck. No, no, be real. Like, I thought, I thought, I thought, um, I love you as a, I loved you as a comic and thought you were really, really talented, but as a person didn't get you. Like why? I thought you were just a booger guy, like a gross booger boy, like a little booger guy, like a little rat boy. But now you're kind of a sex symbol in my world. Is it because I spent a lot of time with you? Maybe. You know, they say women, women can be attracted to men who they're not physically attracted to, but they just grow with them. I think I've grown with you a little bit. I already told you, man, that when I met you, I'm like, wow, that's a funny guy. I, I want to be his friend. No, I'm talking about physical attraction. I don't know. No, you were to call me a fucking booger guy. That's well, you fucked did, up. Well, you did look gross. You did. When I I'm first met a, you. Well, I know, but it's like. You did look snot. What do you mean? And don't, don't, don't make it. It's like, I'm weird. You collected, you collect parts of your skin at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not, well, you, well, you didn't know that though. But I can feel it. <laughs> you can't feel that. I can feel when yeah, people yeah, do weird. Yeah, you can't feel it. No. You always know when people do weird stuff. Like Navad, yeah. you know he's do, you know he does weird shit. You yeah, can yeah. feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it. Like my brother the other day was like singing, "I got a dry sack," right? And I called him. <laughs> I go, because you know we put that stuff on, and I go, yeah, because he's not joking around. He really has a dry sack. Well, does he moisturize? No. Well, you got to get him some ball moisturizer. It flakes and stuff. So I go, um... Like he sheds? Yeah. Oh, God. So I go, shed sack. don't say that. Don't tell people. Yeah, yeah. That's something you learn as a comic. Nice penis, though. He does have a nice penis? I think so, yeah. Is it, you, what do you mean? You know so? He's my brother. That's weird to see him say it. Didn't you guys have baths together when you were a kid? Hell yeah. Was there a moment... <laughs> <laughs> Too confident. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you have a bath with your daughter, sister? No, of course not. That's yeah. insane. What an insane Can thing say, to ask. I, I'm I, also nine years difference. Yeah. She's pretty cute. Put it Put it away. Your, your sister's Put it cute. away. Put like, it away. If I wasn't dating Put Kalila, it away. Let me just... Put it away. Can I just say Put that? it away. How old is she? Put it away. How old is she? We've done this before. Put it away. No, I'm just... Bad. This is a new audience. Sit. Sit. Okay. Good boy. He, I, it's so funny... Because I can say two things right now. I'm not going to say it. Don't do it. But I can say two things right now where he will completely <laughs> and just and, and get in his car and drive away right now. Correct. I have so much power of him. It's the best. Like, I'm not going to do it because I want to finish it. It's disgusting. It's so manipulative. It's so fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you, there's nothing that you could say to me that's going to make me leave. Because you're so fucked up. And everyone knows how fucked up you no, are. No, I've already accepted my frailties. Right. You know what I mean? When I, it's, yeah, it's, but I'm protective of things. My family, it's, I, that, this family thing is tough. Here's the thing, all right? When I, here's the thing. Yeah. When I started revealing that, like, um, I was molested, right? Like, I, that was no longer a shame event for me. Yeah. I, right? I, let's yeah. Just let me finish, right? I and wasn't then, molested, though. No, just let me just finish what I'm saying. That you know of. I think you were. I know you said that, but I don't. There's no way. I think you were. When? I don't know when. I don't know your life, but you just seem like a guy that was like brutally. April seventeenth, nineteen ninety. Brutally molested. April seventeenth, nineteen ninety two. Chattanooga, you, Tennessee. Did you really get molested on the Tootsie Railroad? <laughs> no, no, sorry. That's oh, not damn, funny. That's damn, not damn. funny. Yeah, that's funny. That's not funny. Yeah. So then you it, were molested, but you were then, also molested then, more than once. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. from one guy. Yeah, it was all. It was a lot. Not a lot, like three or four times. That's more than none. That's true. <laughs> but it's not twenty. Yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> but then it's like, and then like I go, you know, you know when I, because you know when I was a kid, I already said this out loud, but I experimented. Yeah, we took the test. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I was gonna die with that shit in the in, in the grave. Like I was gonna. You you mean you mean you mean to tell me though? But when you experimented with men, yeah, you you weren't ashamed of it. I was at the time because I know that I'm not gay. But maybe, but we've done this before. And, and maybe, I just, just let me just finish my point. You are. Let, I'm not. See, when you get mad about it, it doesn't. It doesn't. I just not. It doesn't bode well. I'm not gay. It doesn't bode well. It's fine. I don't care what people think. Look me in the face and slowly say, "I'm not gay." I'm not gay. Don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay. By the way, I'm supportive of you no matter what it's you my are. My point though is, is always that loved you. What I'm saying is, is that I I reveal things about myself, and there's nothing that I'm the ashamed shame is of, gone. right? But it's like you still hold on to some of the shame. That's what you get so angry about. You get so sensitive about mine's shit. Just, mine's just, my, mine's always family stuff. If you say family stuff, then I get say mad. What to, what, talk about how, what a whore my mom is. I don't give a fuck. Why would I do that? Because she's not. Yeah, she's not at all. I'm just saying that Your mother's you, a nice woman. Yeah, she is. Yeah, so it's like, why would I do that? So then when you I'm poke, just saying, if you did it as a joke, it wouldn't offend me. But I feel like if I said that about your mom, which she's not. Um, <laughs> she... Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but she's not. But she's not. You little fucking dumpling. Not, but, You're like, skating on thin ice. I know. I know yeah, yeah. You little fucking dumpling. <laughs> Don't. So anyway, she's not. But like, you know, you, you just very. You have like these trigger points within you. My family. And there's other things too. Yeah, but my family. There's other things too. Okay, we all have trigger points. I don't. Because, because you're empty. I'm just no, I'm not empty. There's nothing I'm not, there. No, I, I have everything. You have barely have emotion. You're finding it again. You're finding it again. Dude, I have emotion, bro. Yeah, but but I it's, cry so much, bro. Just because you cry doesn't mean you have emotion. What is it crying? It's just a bitch reaction. No, it's not a bitch reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bitch reaction. I have emotion. That's why I cry. Maybe it comes out in weird ways. It does. Come but out I have emotion, ways. dude. I know you do. You need help. Is what I'm, I'm getting. I have therapy. Right. So I'm just saying that you better have so help. <laughs> yeah, so you have you have trigger points, and I know where the buttons are. There's, I think, four I could press to make you go hog wild, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay. But I love having the power over you. Thanks, man. And I have none. Yeah, no, but also, but I control your future. That's true. I I have one. Yeah, you do. I have one trigger point yeah, that you, you guys that those fuckers almost fucking try these, to poke at. these two idiots. Yeah, when they called on the phone. I know. You know the one. Mm-hmm. And they almost got me. I have one that, that may, it doesn't make me snap and want to get in a car and drive away, but it just kind of. But just, you handle things differently. I get angry and up upheavily, and you get um, introspective. Introspective, but also, but also, your revenge buttons are huge. Oh, uh, but I'm Korean. I know. What is that about them? Why Koreans are so vengeful? I know because we make. Re have you seen Koreans make the best revenge movies? Yeah, because. Well, but what is it about Koreans that they love? Like, do you revenge? see? I saw the devil. Bring that up. Dude, I, I'm what telling, is that? Please watch it. Bro, I Saw the Devil? Please watch it. It's one of the myself. best movies ever. I Saw the Devil. Okay, there's a movie, Korean movie called I Saw, It's all revenge. I Saw the Devil? Yeah. Okay. And, it, and it's so, all, yeah. what is it? You said it's the best? Yes. You what? saw it? Fuck yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like old boy. It's, like, it's a classic Korean revenge movie, but there, a lot of Korean movies are about that theme, right? I don't know what it is about us. Subtitles or is it? Uh... Yeah, it's subtitles, dude. Fuck, man, read. Fucking. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't like subtitled films. Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? No, I don't like them. What was the one that won an Oscar? Life is beautiful. That was subtitled. Yeah, that's singing and dancing. It's about that oh, that thing that didn't happen. I know. The I, Holocaust. I, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it happened. It was very devastating. But no, why, can you read the subtitles on it? It's really good. Well, okay, how about this? I'll, I'll watch it if you watch it with me. How about that? I'll do it if you watch it We're with me. We're never going to get together and watch a fucking movie, dude. You're right, so that means I'm not going to watch a fucking movie. Anyway, so 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 uh, anyway, um, Koreans are really into revenge. I don't know why that is. I think because I think it has to do with uh, oppression. Because you were oppressed so much. No, I just, as a, as a people, we were, oppre we, uh, we were occupied by Japan. Correct. Yeah, you know, Philippines were occupied. Like, a, lot of, a lot of Asian countries were colonized. Yeah. Right? And I think maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't know. When 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 the Japanese have samurais, mm -hmm. do do Koreans have an ancient warrior? No, we 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 have dudes that knew taekwondo, but I don't think 
they were called anything. Huh. What? I just, I'm surprised. I thought ninjas are pussies. Ninjas are pussies? Bro. Are you going to really stand oh, on that I, hill? Yeah. Bro, I'm going to hide my face. I'm scared. No, they're not scared. They're yeah, and here's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to look eye to eye. I'm going to be on a tree 300 feet away and do blowgun like a pussy. Oh, so you're calling ninjas pussies. Pussies, dude. You're right now calling out ninjas as pussies right now. Pussies, we, that's why, do you ever see this? Mm. You know what I mean? A guy fighting in the UFC, he's an expert in ninj ninjutsu, never. Because it doesn't work. If there's somebody out there that's a real life ninja, will you please comment below? We can link you up with Bobby. I want you to get into a fight with a ninja and then you'll see if they're pussies. I just, say, but be honest with me. It's like in, in the movies that, wow, they can go in underground Time out. and stick their hand Time out of the ground. Real fast. What? Are ninjas real? I don't think so. Okay. I, I don't even know. I, you know. I thought it was just a thing. I, I honestly was. think that ninjas are pussies. Are ninjas real? Are ninjas still around? Are ninjas real today? Japanese era of shoguns and samurai is long over, but the country does have one or maybe two surviving ninjas. I used to You going to fight those guys? Yeah. They're, they're, I used to do a ninja joke that's so hacky. Let me hear the ninja okay, joke. Okay, so this is the ninja. I go, what? this is when I first started doing comedy. Yeah. I go, why do why do ninjas wear masks? I mean, Asians, they all look the same, right? You're not going to see a ninja in a tree and go, hey, with no mask and go, hey, is that Steve Yamamoto? Oh, my God. <laughs> like that. That's so bad. So bad. Is that Steve Yamamoto? Anyway. It, 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 Crush. It was, it was 30 years ago and it didn't work. It worked. No, I'm ashamed now. All right. If anybody is a ninja, please let us know. Did we do the 25 know. minutes already? For sure. What are we at time-wise? We can wrap. Yeah, 125. You're good. Um, so listen, how do you think it went? Uh, there was some lulls. <laughs> you guys did great. I'm a no, I'll be honest. Was there some lulls? It was a, you're going to tell the guys it was bad. No, 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 no. Legit. I'm a fan of how this show went. Okay. Good. Hey. Yeah. I don't know. If you even watch the regular show. I don't know. Who, do, it's I like honestly this, can't. It's just so. No, but I mean, I know that they're like, it's one of those things where it's like. They're both great comedians. No, but when I, when I did, when I did, when I did, uh, Oddball. Shh, whisper it. When I did Oddball Comedy Tour. Yeah. I saw all the names on it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know Ali Wong. I know Sebastian Moscow, right? Right. And I'm like, Tan Segura. Right. Didn't know. Right. And then it's like, I was watching on stage like, what is this? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. But then it's all of a sudden like he's being in the podcast room. So I'm like, I better be nice. He, a lot of his stand-up is, a lot of his stand-up is, is autobiographical. I don't know. You don't know. It's I like know. a one-man show maybe. It's kind of like a one-man show. It's a one-man show. Yeah, it's more like a one-man show. Is one, there a way to end? Hey. Yeah. We'll do our end. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you, you for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears on Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears on Cave. Thank you.